Good morning, preschool friends. I'm so happy to see all of you today. We're gonna have a great day today. First, we're gonna get started by getting rid of some of our jiggles. Are you ready? Get up. We're gonna shake our wiggles out. Shake, 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 Chaka 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 Shake your ceilings out, shake, shake, shake your ceilings out, wiggle the wackles away. Clap, 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 Stretch, big stretch, tall. Stretch low. Nice job, preschool friends. Now we got all of our sillies out. We can sit down and get ready for group time. I'm gonna move our camera down so we can record what we're doing today. Come have a seat with me. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is our check-in. Now, I know we like to do this every day so we can talk about our inside hurts and our outside hurts. So I'm gonna start with my friend next to me and we're gonna go around the circle and if you have a hurt, you can let us know. So Olivia, do you have an inside hurt or an outside hurt today? I'm so glad to hear you're feeling great. How about you, Colby? Do you have any inside or outside hurts today? Oh, I see you do have a scratch on your arm. Was that from your kitty? It was? Would you like a Band-Aid for your for your scratch? You would. Sometimes a Band-Aid can make us feel so much better. Here you go. Is that all the hurts you have today? I'm so happy to hear that. How about you, Carter? How are you feeling today? Do you have any inside or outside hurts? No? I'm so happy to hear you're feeling great. How about you, Chase? How are you feeling today? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that your grandma left to go back home. How did that make you feel? What part of your body hurt the most when your grandma left this morning? Oh, your heart hurt the most. That's right here. Would you like a Band-Aid for it? You don't? That's okay. Just let me know if we can do anything to make you feel better. And Marie, that's my last friend today. How are you feeling today? Do you have any inside or outside hurts? I'm so happy to hear you're feeling great today. And Miss Christine's turn. I don't have any inside hurts. I'm feeling pretty happy, but I did get a paper cut on my finger this morning and it hurts a little bit. So that's called an outside hurt. And I'm gonna use a Band-Aid and I'm gonna see if it makes me feel better. Okay, moving on to our next thing. 
we have been having some trouble during group time when my friends just blurt out answers and it's hard to hear what's happening. So we're going to try something new. First, we're going to see what it sounds like when everybody yells out the same answer at the same time. So on the count of three, I want you to yell out your favorite color all at the same time. One, two, three, pink. Did you hear that? I heard a whole bunch of colors and I heard a whole bunch of voices, but I don't know whose voice matched with which color. It was really hard to hear. So we're gonna try this new thing. I wrote everybody's name on a stick and I put it in our talking cup and we're gonna try to wait. And it's called having self-control. That means you have to wait even though sometimes it's really hard to wait for your turn, but you're gonna wait until you hear your name get called. So we're gonna try, for example, like I'll pull out Lily's name, so then I can say, Lily, what's your favorite color? And then only Lily would answer. So when we do our activity today and it's time for me to get some answers from you, to get some ideas about what you think is gonna happen, I'm gonna call your name before you answer. So we're going to practice doing that today so we can all listen and we can all be heard instead of all yelling out our ideas at the same time. Do you think we can do it? I think we can too. Okay, let's start. Now this week we have been talking about nursery rhymes and yesterday we talked about Humpty Dumpty. I have it up on our board here. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now, if you remember yesterday, we worked really hard to build a wall during free choice time over in the block area. We used our blocks and we worked together and we built a wall for Humpty Dumpty to sit on. Now, nobody has ever said that Humpty Dumpty was an egg, but it's just something that everybody thinks. Everybody thinks Humpty Dumpty was an egg. So I brought an egg from home and I drew a little face on him. So this is our Humpty Dumpty. So I have a pan. Can everybody see? You can? Okay. And I have Humpty and I'm gonna set him on our wall. There he is. Can you see Humpty Dumpty sitting on our wall? Does everybody see him? Now, what do you think is going to happen if Humpty Dumpty falls off this wall? Think about what the nursery rhyme says. All right, here's our test. I'm going to pull out a name, and you tell me what you think is going to happen. Chase. What do you think is going to happen to, happen to Humpty when he falls off the wall? You think he's going to break like it says in the poem? We're going to have to wait and see. Let's pick another. Lily, what do you think is going to happen to Humpty? You think he's going to break too? I don't know. And how about Olivia? You think he's not going to break? So we have two friends so far who think he's going to break and two who don't. Or one who doesn't, sorry. And then we have Marie. What do you think? You think he's not going to break too? So it's a tie. We have two who think he's going to break and two who don't. And our last friend is Colby. What do you think is going to happen to Humpty? You think he's going to break? All right, we're going to do it. We're going to say the poem with me. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. He fell. And what do you think happened to him? I'm going to pass it around. Do you see what happened to Humpty? He broke open. Have you ever seen the inside of an egg at home? 
Look, it's kind of stringy and it's yellow inside. Some yellow came out. You probably have maybe seen an egg when your mom or dad were cooking or baking something. That's what the inside of an egg looks like. Should we do it again? I think we should too. I have another egg. Here's another Humpty Dumpty. So we're going to set them on the wall. So I'm going to pick some names again. What do you think is going to happen to Humpty? Colby, what do you think is going to happen? You think he's going to break? How about Marie? What do you think is going to happen to Humpty Dumpty? You think he's going to break too? How about Olivia? Number three thinks he's going to break. Olivia thinks he's going to break too. How about Lily? You think he's going to break? It looks like you all think he's going to break now. How about you, Chase? You think he's going to break too? Okay, here we go. Say the poem with me. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So when Humpty fell, I heard a crack. But this one looks different. What's different about this egg? Can anybody tell me? Chase, can you tell me? You're right. Nothing's coming out of it. I wonder why. What do you think, Lily? You think it's plastic? Well, it's not plastic. It's a real egg. How about you, Olivia? Do you have any ideas why there's nothing coming out of this Humpty? Nice job. Olivia said sometimes her mom makes her an egg called a hard-boiled egg, and you cook it in a pot of water, and it makes the insides hard. And she's right. I played a little trick on you. One egg was a raw egg, and one was a cooked egg. See, this is the, the gooey part that came out of the first egg. It turns into this white part, and inside is the yolk, or the yellow part. So you might have these kind of eggs for breakfast. Some people turn them into something called a deviled egg, and they eat them at holidays, so you might have seen those before. I was playing a little trick on you. So that's our experiment for today. Now we're going to transition to free play. So if you, oh, first of all, I want to tell you, you all did a very nice job waiting your turn and listening for your talking stick. I'm really proud of how everybody was quiet and everybody listened and everybody respected when the person was talking. So we're going to keep practicing with our talking sticks so we can all have a chance to talk and be listened to. So if you're wearing the color pink, you can move on to free play. If you're wearing the color blue, you can move on to free play. And if you're wearing the color black, I have one friend left at circle time, you can go ahead to free play too. Nice job.